Good morning, everybody. Our prayers this morning are going to be interactive. So whilst you're getting your sheet of A4 paper, your pencil and your scissors ready, I'm going to reposition my screen for you. And here is what we're going to be making. A simple cross. So the first thing you need to do is to get your sheet of A4 paper and fold it down the middle long ways. And then freehand, you don't need to have any measurements here, it's only going to be approximate, is with the folded side in your hand, you're going to cut down from the top to the top bit here. Then you're going to go out, cut that bit off. Slightly shorter for the arms here. And in towards the fold, not quite as far as the other one. And now a bit that's going to start narrow at the top and get wider at the bottom. Give it a bit of stability. A bit too long, so let's just cut a bit off. And there you have your paper cross. But this is the important bit. This next bit is the important bit because now we're going to concentrate and think about what happened on that cross, what Jesus did for us, that he died for our sins. So on the scraps of paper that you've got left, those little odds and bods, just I want you to write down on these anything that comes to mind regarding our sins. It could just be that unkind thought that went through our head as we saw that person. That thing that which we took which wasn't ours. That thing that we did which was so very wrong. Those things we didn't do. Those things we backed away from which we shouldn't have backed away from. That time we didn't speak up when we should have done. The wrongs done to us, which we couldn't forgive. So th think now, we're going to have a very short time for you to be able to write down on your bit of paper your sins, the sins of the world. That's one of my sins. How many bits of paper do I need to write on? Hundreds, I think. But we're just going to do a couple and put it at the foot of the cross. There we are. That's my sin. One of my sins at the foot of the cross. Another one's come to mind straight away. I think I've broken that first commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. <sighs> Fell. going to do the whole lot now. I'll do some more later and you can too. I just want to finish with a prayer. So Father Lord, today we remember, we remember what you did for us on that cross. We remember Lord that you died for us because you loved us and we can't help but wonder just how much it was that you loved us that you could have done that for us we're faced once again of the enormity of what you went through it wasn't a quick death it was barbaric but still you took that walk from palm sunday if you like through to the friday you still did it this might be a flimsy representation of the solid truth of your promise. But we know that you dying on that cross enables each one of us to be forgiven completely, each one of us forgiven completely for every single sin we have ever committed. And when I look at the, the white of the cross, it's pure. And it reminds me, Lord, that it's in purity that we can enter into an eternity with you, with all those who believe in your sacrifice of love. 
so we fall to our knees in thankfulness and try to love you back with our whole hearts in return. Thank you, Lord. Amen.